When Apple introduced MagSafe for the iPhone in 2020, they created a whole new accessory ecosystem. Now, I personally think the MagSafe charger and even the MagSafe case is pretty great. And I love the idea of the MagSafe wallet, but Apple's version of it never really appealed to me. The reasons for this include weak magnetic strength, meaning it's very easy for the case and wallet to get separated. Even just putting it in your pocket could cause the wallet to fall off. Next, it could only realistically hold three cards, and there was no separate clip or spot for carrying cash. And then finally, the price. $59 for that wasn't very enticing. I honestly was reaching the breaking point with my old wallet. So when Magback reached out to me and sent me their Magback case and Magback wallet, it couldn't have come at a better time. And their wallet fixes every problem I had with Apple's wallet. Now, full disclosure, Magback did send me two of their cases and wallets and sponsored a YouTube short, but this video is separate from that. This is just my honest thoughts on the products after using them for several weeks. Magback products are fully compatible with the MagSafe ecosystem. And this even includes their Samsung and Google Pixel cases. So if you're an Android user who likes some of the MagSafe accessories out there, this case is already worth a look. But Magback also has its own separate ecosystem that is pretty compelling. They're able to do this thanks to the magnetic strength and design they're using. They essentially have four longer magnets that go around the circular MagSafe ring. This enables a few things. First, the extra strong magnets allow you to mount your phone to pretty much any magnetic surface. If you try this with Apple's MagSafe case and most other third-party cases, it's not gonna work. One of my favorite places to use this is when I'm standing at my desk, I can just place my phone at eye level on my whiteboard. Now, these strong magnets also enable a much more secure hold when using their wallet. It even has a finger loop to further ensure it's not going anywhere. Also, the ability to mount your phone anywhere doesn't change when you're using the wallet. What I've found is you can mount the phone and wallet anywhere in portrait mode, but if you want your phone in landscape, you first have to mount the wallet in portrait orientation, and then you can stick your phone on top of it in landscape. But my favorite part is these extra magnets they use in their design enables two really cool features. First, the wallet can be used as a kickstand. So you can just flip it out and stand it up in portrait, or if you want your phone in landscape orientation, you can use either side, stand it up, and it's pretty great. I use this orientation all the time when watching YouTube videos. The next cool thing is Magback includes a mag stick with all their cases. This is a solid piece of aluminum with three powerful magnets and an adhesive backing allowing you to mount your phone and wallet to any surface you want. One of my favorites is inside the car. And just like before, if you're using the wallet, you'll have to mount it in portrait, but then you can choose portrait or landscape when mounting your phone. In addition to the wallet and mag stick, Magback's ecosystem includes a three-in-one charger, car mounts, and Tesla accessories. But now let's talk about my experience with these two products. So first off, build quality. The feel of this case is really soft and smooth. I personally really like it. However, if you're coming from something like Apple's silicon case, it's not gonna feel as grippy. Although I will say, once you add the wallet onto the back, it is way less slippery and surprisingly very comfortable to hold. I find myself almost always keeping the wallet on while I use the phone, just because of how good it feels in my hands. But the best way to describe it is it's surprisingly ergonomic. Think of the old Apple TV remote compared to a giant cable box remote. One was designed for your hand and therefore more comfortable to hold. I was actually nervous about carrying around something this thick in one pocket, but that fear only lasted a day because I got used to it immediately. Also, going from having my keys, phone, and wallet taking up three pockets down to just two has been seriously life-changing. I don't wanna ever go back to having anything in my back pocket. And you'll notice, I don't have any issues with the wallet falling off when putting it in my pocket. Additionally, I should mention, I had to stop using Apple's case when this lower part above the charging port broke. It was partially my fault because I did take my phone in and out of the case fairly frequently, but still, this part of the case should have been built stronger. The speaking case I got afterwards is definitely stronger than Apple's, and I would argue Magbacks feels even stronger than Speakin's. Magbacks case also has raised air cushion corners, which helps absorb shock if you ever dropped your phone. I have here the gray and blue colors, but there is also a black color option and a clear option. I'm not sure if the clear case is using the same flexible material, or if it's more like my clear speaking case, which is a bit more stiff. The last cool thing about the design of this case is the buttons are interchangeable. Magback has an optional four color button set, letting you swap out and customize the button colors on your case. I've gone through a few different versions. Currently, I'm using the yellow buttons on the gray case, but I personally love this gray and black combo paired with the black wallet. I also kind of like this blue and yellow combo with the tan wallet. Gives me kind of a fallout vibe. Now, let's talk a bit more specifically about the wallet itself. It comes in three colors, Safiano Black, Napa Black, and Tan. I have here the Napa Black and Tan colors. I haven't used the tan one yet for the sole purpose of showing you the difference between what it looks like when you first get it and what it looks like after a few days of using it. It's pretty stiff at first, but you can fit about four cards right out of the box. 
and then just gradually add more and more until finally you should be able to fit up to nine cards in total and still have room for cash in the separate compartment. It's pretty easy to push the cards out from the bottom here and I only carry seven cards in total, so it's not very hard for me to find the card I need and slide it out. Cash can be a little trickier. I find I sometimes have to push with a good amount of pressure in order to slide the cash out. Also, I'm not sure if I'm folding my cash properly. I think folding it in thirds would actually be ideal, but it's very quick and easy to just fold it in half twice. The only real issue I've had is after a few weeks of using this, I've noticed the wallet seems to be kind of leaving a mark on the case. I have been primarily using the gray case, so I'm not sure if this shows up more or less on a different color. It doesn't really bother me too much, especially since I always have the wallet on it, but definitely something to make note of. So if we look back at the reasons why Apple's MagSafe wallet didn't appeal to me, you'll see just how well MagBag has addressed these concerns. It's got super strong magnets, both in the case and wallet. It can hold three times as many cards, and it has a separate dedicated compartment just for cash. And then finally, price. Apple Silicon MagSafe case is $49 and the wallet is $59. MagBag's case is $55 and the wallet is $49. So they're priced pretty similar, but the MagBag case includes a mag stick, and the MagBag wallet is a lot more functional. But not only that, MagBag is giving anyone who uses the code NICKBRADLEY15 a 15% discount off their entire order, making both of these, I believe, the better product and better deal. And if you use that code, it helps support the channel, so I really appreciate it. Let me know what you think about these. If you have any experience with MagSafe wallets or cases, share them with me in the comments section. I'm Nick Bradley. Thank you so much for watching.